So, hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about deploying a Spring Boot app on Kubernetes with Argo CD and GitHub Actions CI CD. So, in this video, we'll deploy a Spring Boot application to Kubernetes using a GitOps pipeline. The CA process handled by GitHub Actions uh, builds the application, packages it uh, into a Docker image, and pushes it to GitHub Container Registry, which is uh, GHCR. The CD process is managed by Argo CD, which automatically syncs uh, Kubernetes manifest from a GitHub repository and deploy the application to the cluster. So, the uh, prerequisites are Ubuntu 24.04, a GitHub account, Minikube and kubectl should be installed, Docker and basic terminal knowledge. So, first we'll uh, install the required tools here. So, first we'll install Java for it. So, here I'll install the Java 17. We can also use the Java 21 also. So after Java, we'll install the Maven for building Spring Boot. So So here the Java got installed. Now we'll install the Maven. So after the Maven, we'll install the Argo CD here. So I'll use these commands. So here the Maven got installed. So here the namespace uh, for Argo CD will be created and the Argo CD, Argo CD will be installed in that namespace. So click on enter. The namespace got created here. So the Argo CD got uh, installed. Let's wait uh, for the containers to run. So we'll use the port forward to access the Argo CD here. So I'll take a new window here. So the Argo CD is running here. So all the parts are running here. So we'll use the port forwarding. Here. So here I am using the port number double eight double eight. So it is port forwarding now. So by using the public IP. And the port number triple eight, sorry, double eight double eight. We can access the Argo CD here. So here, the username is admin, and for the password, we have to use this command. So this is the password here. So copy this password and paste it here and click on enter. So this is our Argo CD UI. So now our Argo CD is ready. So now let's create a Spring Boot app and test it locally first. So first we'll create a Spring Boot app here. So I'll use these commands here. So here I gave all the things here, the Java version S17 type as Maven project and it's a the name is a spring boot k, k it is so here click on enter so it got created if you see this is our spring boot project here so we'll edit some things here so here we'll add a simple list endpoint so we have to edit this
So here I'll do this code and save it. So So after giving this code, we'll test it locally by using this command. So the app is running now. So let's copy the public IP. So here, give the public IP and give the port number as 8080 and click on enter. So here you can see our application is working here. So, so plus uh, control plus C to stop it. So I'll remove this. So now, Build Docker as the app by using the Docker file here. So before that, we have to build the package here by using the MVN clean package command. So it will create a dot jar file. So here you can see the build got success. So if you see our dot jar is got created so now we'll create the docker file so in the docker file i'll use this so in here in the place of app dot jar In the place of the app dot jar, we have to give the dot jar file name of our dot jar. So we have to change it here also. So after giving these things. We have to save and exit. So now we have to log into GitHub container registry in the CLI itself by using this command. So here we have to replace some things. Here we have to give our GitHub username. So I'll give my username here. So here we have to give the personal access token of the GitHub. So here I'll give mine. So after giving this, click on enter. So here you can see the login order succeeded. So now we have to build and tag for GACR. So for build. I'll use this command. So here, I'll give my GitHub's username. And then we'll click on enter. So the image is getting built now. So the image got built. Now we have to write uh, Kubernetes manifest, uh, manifest which are deployment.yml and the service.yml here. So first 
and use the deployment.yml so before that we have to create a new directory called kts so in this i'll create the deployment.yml so here i'll place the code here we have to give the username of our github for the image uh, from the ghcr so this is the name of our uh, image so after giving these things save and uh, exit so now we'll create the service.yml so for the service.yml i'll use this code now save and exit So now we have to set up GitOps with Argo CD. So first we'll create a new GitHub repository and push our code to that repository. So I'll give the name as Spring Boot KTS and then click on create repository. So now we'll push the code to GitHub repository. So get in it and then get add. So now we'll use the commit. Now we'll uh, remotely add the git repository here. So after that, we'll push. So we have to give the username and the token. I click on enter. So the code card, uh, code got pushed to our GitHub repository here. So reload here. So here you can see everything got pushed to the GitHub repository here. So also our um, KTS. So now we'll configure the Argo CD to sync from GitHub. So let's go to the Argo CD here. Click on new app, application name as Spring Boot app, project as default, and we have to set this in policy, policy to automatic. So here, we have to give the, our GitHub repository URL. So path has KTS. Yes. So cluster URL as this and namespace is default. So after giving all these things here, click on create. So this is our app. So it got synced. So now we set up GitHub Actions CACD. So before that, we have to give the our uh, GitHub token in the repository secrets. Go to repository settings here. Go to secrets and variables and then actions. Click on new repository secret. So this is the name of our secret. And now we'll give the token here. So click on add secret. So now 
let's go to the actions now we'll add the cacd dot yml for the workflow here in the github actions so click on this so i'll give the cacd dot yml here for github actions So after giving this, uh, you have to click on commit changes. So before that, let me show you something. So our uh, Springboard uh, pods are get, got ready already. Then we sync to the Argo CD. So it's showing healthy. So now we click on commit changes. Here the GitHub actions will start automatically. So here you can see it already started. So here our GitHub actions is uh, successfully completed. So now we have to check some final things. So in the GitHub actions, we saw the successful build. So in the Argo CD dashboard, we can see the healthy status here. So the ports are good and also healthy. And then We also have to check the Minikube service. So it should display your app. So for that, we have to access the application. So here, I'll use the port forwarding. So this is the service name of our, of our app. So the port number is 8080. So click on enter. So here, Copy the public ID and give the port number 8080. So here you can see our app is working here. So this is about deploying a Spring Boot app on Kubernetes with Argo CD and GitHub Action CICD. So if you see in the conclusion, Deploying a Spring Boot application on Kubernetes using Argo CD and GitHub Action CI CD provides a streamlined, automated, and scalable approach to modern application deployment. By integrating GitHub Container Registry GHCR, the developers can efficiently manage their Docker images, ensuring a smooth, continuous integration and deployment pipeline. This setup enhances developer productivity and simplifies the overall development process. So, enabling faster and more reliable application updates. So, So that's it about uh, deploying a Spring Boot app on Kubernetes with Argo CD and GitHub Action CI CD. So that's it for today. So yeah, thank you.